Years Later is a series where I take a look back on the past, pop culture, and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode, A League of Their Own. A League of Their Own. This is another movie that I saw in school and I kept seeing it in school because for some reason around my area, they just love this movie, which is fair on their part because this is a really good movie 30 years later. But Gina Davis and her sister Kit getting to a baseball team and while doing so, they meet some very interesting players and characters while also facing the media and just kind of the stereotypical like hey you're a female why are you playing baseball you shouldn't be playing baseball you're not good at it it's not interesting at all having to face all of that and then proving that they can't play baseball and it can be interesting so i will say i don't care about sports especially baseball i don't care about it at all kind of like rocky where it's not really about boxing really it's about rocky and his relationship with his other characters and whatnot same case for this movie where gina davis is great she's really good she's always been good the fly that one movie where there's like that talking mouse or rat tells that movie's Called. I don't know, but she's in it. She's good in it. She's a great player, but also sacrificing herself in order to have her younger sister play baseball because she didn't even want to come. Kit is the one that's really like, hey, I want to be a part of baseball. I know you're good at it. I know you played it. Please come join me. And she's very reluctant, being like, ah, I just want to stay here away from my husband and stay on this farmland. Eventually, they get on the bus. And so, despite not wanting to be there, she's always the main star. And Kit, obviously, jealous. She's the one that wants all the stardom, all the fame. She wants all the autograph. But then her older sister is just doing all of this and she knows that she doesn't really want to be here she's good at baseball at the same time she doesn't really care one thing i didn't realize is that madonna's in this movie i didn't realize she was playing may she's the girl that for some reason throughout the montage always wants to take up her top every game or something like that the montage scene of them going around the cities and playing and whatnot didn't realize it was her i'm assuming this is oh wait never mind take that back i thought it was before she was known but it's after because her songs are like in the 80s and 90s tom hanks is in this movie and he's also pretty damn good at first he's very much unlikable doesn't believe in this team a drunk he doesn't really train them he's just walking in being like hey what up play ball just walks away it's not until gina davis is like hey i'll be the head coach and then both him and her are arguing back on how to play as a team and whatnot and then that encourages him to be a head coach and not be completely useless or drunk slowly but surely just believing in his team there's also that shy girl i don't know her name but there's a very heartfelt and just kind of wholesome moment between her and her dad saying goodbye to her dad and then that one dude who's like telling all the girls to go on the bus that guy got his name but at first look it's like oh i don't want her on the team because she doesn't look you know pretty or whatnot eventually jenna davis and kit is like no we need her she's pretty good and so seeing her saying goodbye to her dad very sad but does get a great moment in a bar where all the girls go in a bar and she's like singing to this one dude that was a really great moment for her and then there's that one girl with the sun which again the names aside from jenna davis kit tom hanks may and some other characters i'm just not going name but the girl with the sun she decides to bring him along and he just causes a chaos and ruckus always having chocolate in his mouth and yelling and whatnot being a kid essentially but bringing this kid along on this team will be a nightmare most of his scenes are pretty funny and then in the present which the movie starts with he's a grown adult now and he's you know not a kid no more and just seeing him being an adult coming back full circle was a fun arc i mean it's not really an arc but just seeing him as a kid and then now an adult and so that's really it i mean there's the present day stuff where the whole team gets commemorated for being like the biggest baseball team ever because they were females and because the media and really no one believed in them throughout this movie they proved that they can be interesting they can be good kid gets her moment there's a certain point where her and gina davis split apart she's on the other side of the team and you think that our side's gonna win but no kit and her team win which i remember watching this in the classroom in history class being like what the hell was that but you know what she's the one that cared most about this cared about again being a fan just having to sign autographs to little girls at the end and so to gina davis she's like you know what this is good for her despite not winning i'm glad that she has her moment and then her husband comes along halfway through the movie from the army and so she wants to go back but then comes back and then you think oh they're gonna win but no the win is for kit's moment which is fair she is the one that wanted this and she got it so a league of their own 30 years later still holds up it's still a pretty damn good movie about just overcoming obstacles overcoming stereotypes overcoming other things i forgot about probably but just fun characters as well you got the shy timber girl who can actually sing really good gina davis is great kit while she's you know a bit annoying a bit jealous she does get her moment you really wanted this moment of being a star madonna as may pretty funny her friend the one that throws that baseball at gina davis and she just catches it it's like whoa you're a badass tom hanks is good as well and so it still holds up it's still a pretty damn good movie so that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching